everyone. Welcome to the third workout of the week, which puts us at the end of week three. Sorry, I'm running slightly behind today. All right, if you um, have bad wrists and you wanna grab a weight, grab a weight for today because we're gonna be doing some, a lot of like plank type stuff today. Um, I'm coming, I'm so sorry. Hey ladies, good morning. So happy you're here today. Oh, Jill. Ugh, see, I, I forget people are listening to me. I didn't end up doing them. My ankle is a bit sore. So I've decided I'm gonna take a few days and let, let it settle down. I, I feel like it's kinda, it's, it's okay, but if, I feel like if I <clears throat> push it too hard, it's gonna, it's gonna get worse. So. so I bailed on my heels yesterday, Jill. Oh my gosh, don't judge me, I feel terrible. <laughs> Oh, I was listening to a podcast with um, Eric Thomas, I think was his name. I've never heard of him before, but he was talking about one of the things he does for himself for accountability is he tells people um, what he's going to do because he's like, I can't let people down. Like, I can't tell people I'm going to do something and not do it. I was thinking about, I was thinking about how I do that, but you know, I, I thought I got off the hook yesterday <laughs> My friend who usually joins me for hills couldn't come with me yesterday and uh, she didn't ask me. <laughs> so I thought, oh, Jill, you, you called me out. Thank you. Thank you, Jill. And all that means is, right, like I was talking to my coaching group this week about how, about the power of our word, right? Like the power of do what you say you're going to do. Right, like the best, one of the best ways you can build self-image and, and build confidence is by doing what you say you're gonna do. And I've really practiced that over, I would say the last year especially, I've really kind of, I don't know, worked hard at thinking about what you commit to, right? So if you're gonna do something, if you say you're gonna do something, you need to do it, if you don't want to do it, like if you're going to resent doing it, or then don't say you're going to do it. So I probably shouldn't have said that I had hills yesterday because I knew there was a chance I wasn't going to do them. So I will say, I think that my plan is to take the next couple of days. My son and I are doing a run streak. I think I've shared that with you guys. So we are on, I don't even know what day we're on, I should look, <clears throat> but we are like well over two years of running every single day, minimum of ten, a mile. We do a minimum of a mile. And so on my off days, I just do that mile. So yesterday I did my mile with him. And so I think that's what I'm gonna do for over the next few days, just to sort of let it I've learned over the years of running, right? Like it's better to be, it's always better to be conservative. Um, it's not, I just feel it in certain, certain things I do. So I think kind of just, if I get, let it settle down then I can go back to uh, my training. So that's where I'm at. So welcome you guys. So we're doing not a lot of jumping again today. This is, I have to get really creative. <clears throat> this is great for those of you who can't, who can't jump, right? <laughs> uh, we're not, do, we're not doing jumping stuff. So my legs are still sore from Tuesday though. I don't know if anybody else feels that. It just goes to show you, we don't do a lot of strength. So I think we're going to mix a little bit more of that type of stuff in. Um, if you have weights, I think we will mix more of kind of what we did Tuesday in, just because that's truly how you change your body is um, by mixing in resistance training, right? So I am still feeling it in my hamstrings, still feeling it in my butt, still feeling my quads. 
quads from Tuesday. But I will say my mood is back. <laughs> my, I feel like my old self again. I feel like the last two days of, you know, Tuesday was that kind of weird slump, slump day. And I definitely feel like that has come and gone. Sometimes you just need to listen and take a step back. I think I just needed a couple of low key days uh, mentally. And today I woke up feeling kind of fired back up again to take on the world. <laughs> Who have we got? I see Don. Don and Jill this morning. You guys are here every single morning with me. I appreciate that. Um, I know we have some regulars doing the workout later too. I got to shout out Linda Temple who did yesterday's workout. <laughs> like I got a notification that she finished it at it's like a, past 11. I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, and it made me think about the power of consistency, but the power of like just Linda and I talked, I think she started a year and a bit ago with my 10 minute challenge. I challenged, I challenged my group, my other Facebook group called Pursuing Wellness. I challenged them to commit to 10 minutes of activity a day. It didn't matter, any activity, and that kind of was inspired by my one mile because I realized that we can do 10 minutes and there's, there's a lot of power in that consistent daily activity. Even if, it's, even if it is only 10 minutes, there's a lot of uh, mental benefits from committing to something like, to commit it, from committing to something like that. And so she, um, Linda started like a year and a bit ago with the 10 minutes of walking. She said she'd go out no matter what. She would usually do a lot more. She said usually once she got out, she would do half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour. But the commitment to that 10 minutes. Okay, you guys, so you guys who can jump, I'm gonna keep it to a hop. It's silly things like that that I think just stress my ankle that <sighs> driving me nuts. Um, so that's where she started. She, I know she got really into walking and hiking over the course of that summer, um, but it all started with the 10 minutes. And I was thinking today about how when you make that commitment to that daily, to whatever it is, right? So I was thinking about us, this is week, for those of us who did six weeks of will, this is week nine, you guys, of logging three workouts a week. I don't know about you, but I was not doing that before. I was doing one workout a week, um, and I was trying, <coughs> excuse me, I was trying to get those other two workouts in, and, not very successfully, I'd get them in one week, not the next. But it's now kind of what we do, right? And I've noticed over the last couple of weeks, it's impacting other things in my life. Like, so what Linda sort of shared was, she came to me, it, if I look at her journey, it's been like, <clears throat> it's it's been like building with Legos, right? So she essentially started with her block of 10 minutes. And she worked at that for a bit, right? She worked at that being her baseline and adding to it. So she got really into her walking and hiking in the summer and she started working on her mindset. I know that was something she started working on gratitude journaling um, and I think meditation visualization I remember us having that conversation 
Uh, and it, so that was the next piece, and that was all about value of self. Working at, you know, that pride in oneself. You know, being grateful for everything that you currently have, because there's two ways of looking at things. One is lack and one is abundance. And when we are focused on what we don't have, and <clears throat> sometimes I feel bad saying that because I have really nothing to complain about in my life. And so some people might have different circumstances where sometimes it's difficult to see the good, right? But if we can focus on what we have, we'll actually attract and bring about more. <laughs> but when we focus on what we don't have and we worry or we stress or we <clears throat> fret, we bring more of that, right? And so the gratitude was important and then just the visualization of what do I want? <laughs> what do I want my life to look like? Most of us, many of us, <clears throat> we don't consider that because either we don't think it's possible or we don't think we're worthy or we don't think we're deserving and so we just don't really think we just kind of accept whatever it is we don't think of like what more do I want for my life um, what more would I like to do what would make me happier and more fulfilled um, like I saw Don posted a really cool backyard today so like that's that's what I mean by visualizing like what do you want like yeah I want that backyard okay so like what else do you want like like always thinking about what is it that you want and then knowing that you can go get it okay so we're doing <laughs> I'm gonna start calling it Tabata Thursdays because I always cop out to Tabata on Thursdays <clears throat> okay we're doing squat front kicks ready so we're gonna, gonna do a squat with a front kick squat front kick I'm gonna grab a weight on the next set um, so Linda she focused on that next and I think her when you're focused on what you want and what you have <clears throat> we're doing plank shoulder taps now there's a zest for life that starts to build in you right <clears throat> when you have a zest for life when you have a, a purpose or something you're excited about think about when you have a vacation booked and planned I don't know if you guys are like me but <clears throat> excuse me my husband doesn't think about the future at all so he doesn't it was just, he doesn't get excited about things it, it kills me it drives me crazy but he's like you know me I don't get excited me all I think about is that upcoming thing right so when you have a vacation booked I'm like yeah counting down the days I'm visualizing it I'm excited for it I'm you know thinking about it whatever <clears throat> think about how exciting life is when you're planning an event like you know you're planning a wedding or you're planning expecting a baby like when you have something coming that you're excited about you have this <clears throat> zest for life let's call it so try when you're doing these not to rock your hips um if you need to do these from your knees dawn i know i'm not sure if you can bend your foot yet you can do these from your knees um and when you have that zest for life that outlook you have a different value on yourself right because you're like how do I explain it? If you're working on something you're really excited about, you know, there's a kind of understanding within yourself. I take better care of myself because I have this purpose. If that's making sense. So for those of you who have trouble with these plank um, position exercises, oh, and here's a trick, widen your feet so that you don't have to rock your hips. For those of you who, <clears throat> you can have weights, like Dawn, like do, um, 
do something with your hand weights like bicep curls, tricep extensions, something upper body. We're focusing on upper body. Um, so I think with back to Linda, <laughs> can I tell a story in a more roundabout way? She developed this pride and this quiet confidence about herself. Like <clears throat> one of the other ladies in my coaching group the other day actually said, and they don't even know each other, they've never even met each other other than online, said, you're different. Um, and she, she is. And so it's taken, my kind of my point is, it's taken a year and a half for her to, to make that transformation <clears throat> to being a person who works out no matter what, even if it's at 10.30 at night. And it's super inspiring to see because the Linda that I've always known like would never have done that before. And this is the power of, I think, doing things slowly from the right mindset and allowing things to come to you. And so I share that because what I've noticed it for my own self is I've been trying to quit wine for so long. I saw that you swam, that's so awesome. I've been trying to quit, not quit wine, not quit, I'm not, I'm not a quitter. I've been trying to cut way back. It, my wine consumption got a little out of hand as of, you know, COVID, the start, like last year. It just became too regular, right? But I've noticed lately, like, I don't even, like, it's just really, I think I've gotten to the point where I'm really valuing how I feel with my workouts, um, that I want to make those right choices. Activity. And that's such a great place to be coming from. Okay, so we're gonna do squats again with side kicks. Okay, so squat, side kick. Squat, side kick. I know we did these already this week, but we're doing them slower, and if you have a weight, you can grab a weight. Um, I just noticed this week, like, I'm craving healthy foods. Right? That was not the case before. Um, I was, we are fighting ourselves, right? Like we're like, oh, I need to make this choice, but I want to make this choice. Tricep push-ups. So probably you're going to want to do these from your knees and you're going to keep your elbows tucked right against your body so that you're using the back of your arms, which is your tricep, to do the push-up. These are hard. <laughs> so you're... If you find them really hard, that is okay. That is normal. Um, and, and that all comes, a lot of it comes with changing the mindset so that you're, instead of looking at fitness and food as unpleasant and, you know, punishing, because, you know, sometimes it's fun to eat a pizza. Um, I just think I want to feel good. I want to look good. I really want to, at my age, I want to age well, <laughs> right? And aging well, you notice um, health has a lot to do with aging well. Um, I'm at that age <laughs> where you can age 10 years in a year. Um, And I don't know if, is anybody else feeling that? Is anybody else feeling that from the consistency of the workout? Just feeling more driven to, so we're doing these almost like in slow, where you wanna lift and use that um, ab abductor, the, the uh, hip and outer thigh. You want to lift slow and feel that right here. Keep those elbows squeezed in tight. If you can only do a few, that's okay. Do what you can. 
Um, alternatively, you can do tricep extensions for this one with a weight, which looks like, which looks like this. No matter what position you're in, you're going to keep that, that, um, those elbows squeezed, squeezed together. I wish we were going to keep this amazing weather for the weekend. I really want to get my husband, my husband's off, finally. And I uh, really, really like to have the patio set up. Squeeze. This is our last round of triceps. Week nine, you guys. How did that happen? Squeeze. And you know, it happens one work at a time, doesn't it? One, one workout, one week at a time. my transversus abdominis is ever going to be visible, but I agree. I've always been obsessed with abs because I never had them. I'm not gifted with. I think abs are, abs are something that you are, it's like genetic, right? Like tr truly, truly. Um, there's people who just naturally have abs and you'll see that, right? Like their abs will show even when they're not fit and when they're fit, they just show more. Um, yeah, mine have never, never been, they're, they're super shy. My abs are super shy. Okay, next one is side. Activity. I couldn't understand what I wrote here. Uh, oh, I know what they are. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit more. Okay, so we're doing these guys. So we're lifting, and actually, if you want, you can grab a weight with this. And uh, you don't have to, okay? And if you don't have a weight, you wanna go faster than what I'm going. This is gonna be kind of a core exercise. So now we're going to push-ups. Okay, regular push-ups from the knees or full push-ups. As many full push-ups as you can. It was mean of me putting these third. <laughs> okay, so now we're going the other way. Um, you, you would want a relatively light weight if you're using weights for this. Okay, ready? So if you're not using weights, you want to go faster. And just get your heart rate up. Weights are hard in this one. <laughs> Push-ups. No. <laughs> Full or from your knees. If you're doing them, regardless of how you're doing them, make sure your spine and back are long and elongated and you're not curving. You want to you want to be nice and straight, like really elongate your spine. Okay. Here we go. This is more of an arm and core, especially if you have a weight, which is what I wanted today. I wanted to work out. Wanted to work our upper body because we did a really good leg one Tuesday. We did core and kind of cardio yesterday. So 
So keep your, your glutes squeezed. And whether you're doing these from your knees or your or full ones, I can't even talk. At the end of the day, you guys, I think the key is really building a lifestyle that, that isn't something that you think about, right? So when we first make cha any changes in our life, right? You know, hills, Jill, hills is a new thing. Uh, when something becomes part of your routine and that you don't have to think about, that's when true change starts to happen, I think. Okay. What do we got next? Uh, okay, how's everybody doing? How you guys doing? Whew. Whew. Okay, we're doing lunges next. Did we miss? We just missed our push-ups. Okay, we're gonna do them now. Let's just do our push-ups. Sorry, you guys. I was so glad to be done those weighted ones. Okay, we don't wanna miss any push-ups, right? Everybody loves push-ups. <laughs> Not, I know. Push-ups are kinda like, kinda like the strength version of burpees, I feel like. Okay, so grab a drink. We're gonna go to Front back lunges. So we're gonna lunge forward and then back. No judgment, thanks Jill. <laughs> no, no judgment, we're in a no judgment zone. But I'm glad you asked me because it's really important for me to be a person of my word. And so thank you for calling me out. Okay, we're gonna do front back lunges. Weight or no weight. So you're gonna do front lunge, back lunge. Okay, stay on that same leg. Back lunge. Keeping your spine upright, right? Whether you're lunging forward or, or you're in your back lunge. Okay. And we're going to chaturanga. So high to low plank. Slow down. Up, down, up. Okay, alternating directions. Really use that core. Woo! These are probably, to be honest, not one of my favorites. Okay, front back lunge on the other leg. So I started on my right, I'm gonna go to my left. So front, back lunge. If you're really great with balance, you can swing back and forth. If you're not, get your balance in between. Okay? So the back lunge is going to work a little bit more in your quad. You're going to feel it a little bit more in the front of your leg. And then the front lunge is everything, but a little bit more. Okay. So down, up. And you can do these from your knees if you need to. Really pull that core into the movement. Squeeze your legs. The more muscles you squeeze, um, the more muscles you engage into the movement. Okay, so we're back to the right side. Woo! Tabata goes by so fast. Don't you guys find? more 
we started the rows together. Okay, last set of lunges. Okay, front, back, front. Make sure you're staying upright. Squats in, squat plank and core in. So let's, and again, you don't need weights, but you can grab them if you have them. Okay, let's do 10. That's six. I lied, we're gonna do 15. Eight, nine, 10, so five more, you guys. Four, Three, two, one. All right. So that's 15. We're going to do another set of 15 at the end. Okay. So let's finish with core, a core set. So we're going to do a new one today combined with an old one. Um, this one's going to be great for your transversus cordon. All right. So we're, the first one's going to look like we're going to come up, around, and back, like this. You can use a weight if you want. Okay, ready? So up, and if you have a weight, you'll hold it, obviously. So up and around. Five more seconds. Okay. We're going to do boat. Boat is so good for transversus core. Okay, ready? So this is what boat looks like. So boat can, you can have your hands down, you can support your head, or if you want to challenge yourself, you can have your hands up. The lower your legs are, the harder it is. Make sure your spine is pressed down into the mat. If you need to, this set's going to creep up on us, you guys. This set. This set's gonna be hard. I can already tell. All right, it's okay. We're made for hard, you guys. <laughs> okay, up and around, up and around. I feel like I'm gonna lose my up part by the third. Oh man. <laughs> okay, made for hard, you guys, made for hard. I want to get workout tanks made. I'm working on some with my son. I'm super excited about them. This one of my clients loves for her butt to hurt. Okay, holding. Don't forget you can increase if you want. You can also hold a weight if you want to make this harder. 
um, or lower your legs. This is all I got, you guys. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay. One more of each. <laughs> and then we have squats and plank. And core. <laughs> one. How many reps are we getting? Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so seven times four. So I'd say, can we cheat a little bit? We have 28 <laughs> reps ish. Let's let's not cheat too much. We'll go with 25. So we need 75 core when we're done. 75 core, 15 squats, and some plank. Okay, 10 seconds. Breathe through it. Don't hold your breath. That's the worst thing you can do. <sighs> Woo! Okay. Let's go back to squats for a sec. We're going to do 15 squats. <clears throat> Are you guys feeling that? Oh my gosh. I, I'm totally feeling that. Okay. Squats. 15. With or without weights. Three, four, five. Ten more. Oh my god, my core. <laughs> and five more. Four, three, two, one. Squats are done. For those of you doing the Grand Slam, even if you're not, you're doing it on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday with me. Okay, let's do low, oh, low plank, you guys. All right, into position. So squeezing your shoulder blades like you have a pencil down the, down the uh, vertebrae of your back. So you wanna hold that pencil in place. Okay, so your shoulders are retracted, your shoulder blades are retracted, your belly button is pulled in, and your butt is slightly cocked, but you want to pull your belly button in, okay? Squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes. Woo! And don't forget to breathe. Make sure your head is up and you're looking just in front of you so you're not cutting off your air supply. We're almost there, seven seconds. Three, two, one. All right, so that's plank, and now we're going to finish with core. I know we've probably done more than enough core in this, but we don't want to cheat. Okay, so we're going to start with um, let's do crunch extensions 10. Okay, 10. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Um, leg ex like I can't even talk to you guys. These guys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, last one, and then we're gonna go to the other side. 10, nine, lifting your shoulder, not your elbow. Six, five, four, three, two, one, that's 30. Let's go to leg lifts, okay? One, two, Three, press that spine down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 40. Let's sit up for a set. We're gonna do some Russian twists. We're gonna do 20 Russian twists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
stretching to the end of our workouts. What do you guys think? Thank you for joining me. Thank you um, for another awesome week, you guys. Week three, that makes nine weeks um, of commitment. I'm so amazed with us. We're amazing. See you next week. And don't forget to invite your friends. <laughs>